Well, everybody's heard of Wave Rock, a very famous icon and landmark in Western Australia. It's about uh, 340 kilometres from Perth. But on your way out there, there's a couple of spots that uh, you might take your interest to have a look at. So I'll show you the tourist spot and another nice little spot to have a free camp. So stick around and enjoy the video. <laughs> Oh, hi and welcome to another video. This one is out in the wheat belt again, out past a place called Corrigan and it's on the way to Wave Rock as you would have seen in the intro. So we're heading for Gorge Rock, G-O-R-G-E Rock and on the way through just before you hit Corrigan is the Dog Cemetery and there's plenty of area to pull off and have a look at this it's a, a beautiful little spot and it's yeah quite unique it's out in the middle of the farmland and a lot of these would be farm dogs out there it um, brings back some memories when you read some of the names of the dogs out there so if you get a chance stop and have a look if you see any rubbish lying around just pick it up and uh, help the locals keep it a, a tidy little spot there only a couple of minutes before you hit Corrigan which uh, has fuel and there's good shopping there. Just past Corrigan are a few kilometres, it's well signposted, you'll come across a turn off on your left heading again heading towards Wave Rock called Gorge Rock so follow it in there and you'll find the campsite and the rock is up behind. There's a lot of history in this place and it was well used in the past by local farmers and families. Great spot to go for a walk on and the wildflowers and you'll see the pool in the middle there that's actually been dammed so it formed an area for the, the kids to swim in. Nice big open area for parking uh, you'll get the largest of caravans in there. There's no facilities apart from the water tank there with a bit of water no toilets so please be self-contained There's a shelter there with tables and chairs and a little mud map of what you can find up on the rock and in, in the local area and what was there and some boards as well with some more history on it. Very popular for uh, day picnickers in here and walkers. It is dog friendly but as always please keep your dog on a leash you never know who's uh, dropped some baits out in the, the farm area if your dog gets away from you. From the campsite up onto the rock, there's only a couple of minutes walk and it's quite easy. Uh, not wheelchair accessible, but um, you don't have to be too fit to go up and just have a look at the water. It's, uh, as I say, quite easy to access. And if you're feeling a little bit fitter, there's plenty of bush around and f you can go further afield right over to the back of the rock. Some great views of the farmland and especially this time of year, everything's green and the canola's out. up on the rock there's some beautiful flowers as well and different mosses and grasses growing up there just had some rain recently the old man of the rock there and part of the old rabbit proof fence that's the old mesh fence that uh, on the way out there if you're coming from Querding through to Corrigan there's a little display there as well uh, a little bit about the rabbit proof fence 
you're going for a walk around, keep an eye out. There are a few remnants of uh, days gone by out there. This is the old seating for the little uh, amphitheatre they had for a scout camp out there where they used to sit and tell stories and there would have been a fire pit in the middle. The old man of the mountain there again. So that's the trip out there. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and found this useful. If you did, please subscribe and keep the shiny side up. Thanks for watching.